guys, it's Kira from Kira Fringe Recaps on the Warehouse 13 fan channel, and I have a special guest with me. Her name is Christine. <gasps> uh, follow her on Tumblr, cookiechristine.tumblr.com. I'll post the link below. Anyway, you might have seen her before, a long time ago, when we went to the Fringe slash Human Target Fox Broadcasting Sneak Preview event at Golden Apple Comics. Yeah, it was pretty epic, wasn't it? Anyway, my friend here came over to watch the Pretty Little Liars season finale, OMG, and it was like totally awesome, right? Yeah. Except no Lena. I know. Lucas wasn't even in it. I'm like, what? Because they're my favorite ship. And they, yeah. And when he had the dirty shoes, I was like, oh, and they didn't even do anything about it. And then like she got hit by a car. And I was like, no, why? And then they were like, no! I know. I can't wait till the next season. It's gonna be like, awesome. Yeah. So, pretty cool stuff. Anyway, this was Christine's first time watching Warehouse 13. <gasps> Woo! Imaginary yeah, clapping me. for yay! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, um, uh, what was. It was Around the Bend. I think that's what it was called. Season 2, episode 6. Yeah, I have to, because, yeah. Um, oh, right, by the way, I'm wearing my Alice in Sky Yeah, okay, done. Um, so, Pete goes basically insane because he's tapping on this, like, telegraph, right? Yes. Yes, because Mrs. Frederick is all like, let this mission go, but it turns out he's been, like, seeing everything and it wasn't real, and then Tia Carrere goes, guest stars, I hope that's how you pronounce it, and they're making out, and I'm like, no! And then Micah comes, and she's like, stop! And then, with her gun or whatever, and then Pete's like, no! And then he takes the staff, which is like, it causes earthquakes, this is an artifact, and he stole it from this dude, and like, he like, stamps it, and then there's an earthquake, and Micah falls on the bed, and there's stuff coming down, I'm like, no, Micah! And then, like, he drives off, with Tia career, but then she's shot, but then she's fine, and I don't, it was really confusing. Wasn't it confusing? Yeah. And even for me, well, I watch it all the time, it was confusing. Well, I mean, it was still good, no offense, writers. It was just confusing, yeah. It was. Um, I got most of it. We saw Allison's guitar again. Um, we, I think it was in last episode, right? Yeah, it was pretty cool. And then she wasn't really playing it. She was just holding it, but it, it was still pretty tight. Yeah. Um, what other exciting stuff happened? Huh? Um, we never found out who it was. Oh, and yeah. So we're, <laughs> we're going back to Pretty Little Lies. No, it's okay. Yes. We're, like, really obsessed with Pretty Little Lies. Because it's awesome. Atlanta forever. Yeah. At first, like, when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, the show's gonna be awful, and I didn't want to watch it, and then I watched the first episode, and I was all obsessed, so. And you told me, you were like, you're like, Christine, they're making a show for Pretty Little Lives. I'm like, what? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. But I didn't watch it. Yeah, mixed feelings at first, but now, I'm all good, because they're cool. Um... Oh, I wanted to rant about the Teen Choice Awards. <gasps> yeah, she's so happy. <laughs> well, some of them, like, were awarded to the right people, like Lady Antebellum, Best Country Group. They were yeah. awarded? I yes. I didn't, I didn't hear them. Yeah, well, they weren't actually there because they're in London right now, and, yeah, they're, like, my favorite band right now. Well, one of them, because they're awesome. Well, one of my favorite bands, but not one of the members of And Lady Teen Choice. Huh? Oh yeah, Chinese. yeah. Lady Chase Gossip from Girl. Gossip Girl. I also watch Gossip Girl. That show's boss. Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway, the most horrible, horrible thing that made me lose faith in teen humanity was that Vampire Diaries. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they won instead of. Fringe and Anna and Josh Jackson and I was But there will be more awards given. Yeah, so there okay. will. See she likes vampire diaries, so I feel awkward saying okay. that I don't like it. It's okay. But you know, we all have our opinions, so I I don't I won't hate you. Maybe. <laughs> no, never mind, I do. Okay. Um, yeah, so 
It's okay, Anna. You don't need a surfboard to tell you that you're an awesome actress. You're probably not even watching this, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, um, uh, other things that made me mad. Taylor, oh. Twilight won like. I know work, like, they won everything. I was like, Bleh. you know, yeah. Like yeah. a surprise. Like yeah, I wanted so bad for Sandy, Sandra Bullock. I mean, I call her Sandy. Like she's a close personal friend of mine, but she isn't. But yeah, I always call her Sandy. And Ryan Reynolds to win Best Chemistry and Best Lip Lock, and of course Kristen Stewart and Rob Pattinson beat them. And I was like, "Was it for Eclipse or Twilight?" It's probably for Eclipse, but you know it's in the whole Twilight saga, so it's in the whole thing. Taylor and then Taylor Lautner. Taylor Lautner. I, I'm sorry, but I don't find him attractive. Neither do I. I mean, he's a cool dude, but he's just not. I don't think he's hot. And now I'm gonna get a bunch of like hate comments from like fangirls like. Dude, Taylor Lautner is the hottest thing on the planet. He's Taylor Lautner. But, but, but everybody has their own opinions. Yeah. I respect your opinion, fangirls. I just don't agree with it. And I. lastly, Selena Gomez won Best Red Carpet Fashion Icon instead of Lady Gaga. Like, what has this world come to? And now I am done ranting. Back to where I was 13. Um, that was, that lots was a pretty of, funny show. Yeah, yeah. I, it is very comical. <laughs> um, uh, there was a lot of Pete being angry and confused and, like, freaky. I was kind of scared of Pete in this episode. Because, well, I always love Pete. But, I mean, he's like, STOP! You know you're gonna shoot! They're gonna kill us all! And I'm like, dude, no! And I thought he was gonna shoot Micah or something. It was really scary. And, yeah. And then him making up on himself, that was pretty funny. I know. Well, I got really mad when he started making out with Tia, because, I mean, Tia's pretty and all, but I just, like, get really mad when he makes out with anybody, because I'm like, because in my mind, I'm like, oh, you're stealing Micah's man, you're gonna die. But, Didn't you post that on, like, Tumblr? Like, yeah, I did. <laughs> I said I'm automatically gonna call every girl who makes out with Pete Latimer a slut. Yeah, so, I was like, no, you ho! But she she wasn't that bad in the end, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna stop talking about that right now. Because my shipper hardcoreness is getting the best of me. <laughs> Not good. Um next episode. What was the promo? I was I was watching You <laughs> I forgot. I'm distracted. No, it looked exciting. Don't take this the wrong way. It looked exciting, but what was it? Oh, I look like an idiot right now. Do we have to go back and watch the TV? Or no, it's not. I don't, I don't want to watch wrestling. Why is there wrestling on the <laughs> sci-fi channel? I'm always all like, oh, the Wales, the team is so awesome. And all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, WWE, raw. I was like, like, no, it was NXT or whatever. Or, you know, wrestling stuff. And I'm like, what Man is that? Stuff. Well, Eddie McClintock used to be a wrestler. Did you know that? Oh, no, you didn't know that. That's crazy. Woo! Yeah. Um. Wow, I don't remember the promo. That is depressing. Sad. Oh! Oh, I remember now! Oh, yes! H.G. <laughs> Wells comes back! That's what I remember! H.G. Wells, yes! She comes back. Woo! Beware. He is a she. OMG. Oh my god, what? Hard times! No! Wait, he's a she? What? No, because in the pilot we found out that H.G. Wells was a, was a woman. So he's a... He's a she, yeah. Well, so actually, really probably not in real historical events, but in the warehouse, anything is possible. There's no such thing as no such thing in Warehouse 13. And I'll close with that, because that sounds really awesome. Watch it, sounds, it next it Tuesday. Sounds, it sounds fierce. <laughs> I what is it? The fierceest. We made up that word. Isn't that awesome? Because I was all mad about Selena Gomez again. And then I was like, Lady Gaga is so fierce. And then... Christine was like, she's the fierciest, and I'm like, oh, gee, that's awesome. So yeah, next Tuesday, 9, 8 central, watch Warehouse 13 on Sci-Fi. And I should yeah. watch it too. Yes, she won't be here, unfortunately. Hmm. But, yeah. See ya.